there's a lot to talk about uh, swivel of course and the one that i'm using right now it actually uh, doesn't incorporate a lot of uh, horizontal motion like this i'm basically not even pushing down the pedal too much right now i am uh, more focused on moving it left to right like this as you can see uh, it's really important, the most important thing is to find the perfect spot on your footboard where if you move your foot from left to right you can transfer the motion so to say to the pedal and you just need to push a tiny little bit but just just really a little to make sure that the beater reaches the bass drum. This way, you're really, really relaxed. You save a lot of energy. You don't have to push too much and get, get tired. This horizontal movement is really, really relaxed. You can also have a pretty big swing, actually. So if, let's say, if I put a bit more pressure and try to hit harder. Uh, the different kinds of there are different kinds of swivel techniques basically uh, So what we have here, let's say you're um, if we take into account drummers like uh, Karim mm -hmm. or for example uh, George Collias from Nile or uh, Adam Björk uh, We know that like they use a lot of ankle and they actually push it down This this is what I referred to before as uh, the ankle swivel. So it actually comes when you push down the pedal with your ankles and just to stay relaxed you move it to the side I cannot really use it that much with these settings but we're gonna get this to to this a bit later so this is like the vertical motion so if you have like you rely on the vertical motion you know as, as the ankle motion as much as you can and you just move side to side just to keep you relaxed you're like probably somewhere here you know this is this is where Karim and George is probably as far as I know that they use a lot of ankles you know so you're here this line represents uh, the transition between the ankle swivel to the pressure swivel so I, I think I'm trying to go somewhere towards this direction and the less vertical ankle motion you're using, the more you rely on side-to-side -side swinging to actually move the footboard. As far as I think I know Ken from Aborted is yep. using something like this. Mm -hmm. He's actually not pushing that much down. He's using more left to right like I do. So basically we're heading in this direction we're eliminating the vertical ankle motion and we're using more side to side motion i honestly think that it actually the disadvantage of it is uh, i think eventually you will lose a little bit of power you're not going to be able to play as loud as for example kerim does with his copetos heavy pedals you know heavy header hard strokes and then you're going to be playing really lighter and relaxed like ken or like i do and uh, so like basically this you're you're gonna approach like this this point somewhere here is like the most relaxed that you can get where you almost don't use the pressure you almost don't push it at all but there uh, one of the ways or I mean like the only way to reach this point is to actually find the sweet spot on the pedal as I said and as well as the pedal settings really help a lot the max spring tension VDL all the way down is all a part of the technique to reach this point where you are so relaxed that you can just you know do this with almost not even pushing down the pedal it's just side to side but it's really important that you like finding this spot is not that easy it's gonna take you some time especially for the left foot which is weaker and you have to like go like this completely you know tight all the hits should be there and you cannot afford to push too much because if you do you're gonna get tired and then that's it it's game over and the thing is you have to pay attention that like when you're sitting um, like everything he here is kind of locked in a position you don't really move it around the only thing you have to pay attention is to this left right left right left right 
Everything here is completely relaxed. Hey guys, this is Eugene. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to watch the full version, make sure you sign up to Drum Technique Academy. It also provides a lot of awesome content from different drum teachers. Furthermore, maybe some of you know, I'll be on a month-long tour starting from 4th of April till 2nd of May. And if you're interested in private drum lessons, make sure you send me a message. Here you can check out the dates. See you on the road, guys.